notice anything? Right after saying that, I just realized how yellow my teeth are. Gross. Time to whiten them. Um, you can't, can you tell if my hair's blue? Maybe. But uh, that's not the point of this video. My dorm. This is happening. So for anyone who's been keeping up with my quarter life crisis, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Um, don't worry, I'm about to like, get ready for the day, so I'm not going to look like this the whole video. If everyone's been keeping up with that, uh, I dyed my hair blue, which I'm really bad. You really can't tell on camera that it's blue. I swear in person you can tell. Um, maybe I should like bleach my hair again and like dye it. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm taking a break from school. <laughs> I'm taking a break for like health reasons, personal reasons, family reasons, tons of reasons, okay? The reason I'm not using the term dropped out all the time is because I do plan on returning to school. Um, I'm not sure when that'll be. It could be this fall, it could be next spring, it could be next fall. And I also don't know if I'll be coming back to this school or not. So when I filled out my form that I haven't handed in yet, because it's right here, um, I filled it out as I'm taking a leave of absence. So that means I could be I can come right back to the school without having to go through the application process again. Everything be fine, I'd be allowed back. But I don't know if that's what I want to do. <laughs> so it's already been three minutes of me looking like a crazy person talking like this. So I'm going to get packing and, well, finish packing because as you can tell, the vast majority of my stuff is gone. So really all I have is this mess here, this mess here, and everything I threw in my bed. And then some stuff on the floor because my life is a mess. So I promised okay, myself wait. I wouldn't get emotional about this, but obviously I've been crying. So, I'm gonna show you guys my dorm without all of my stuff. For anyone that's seen my dorm door, this is weird. That is coming home with me. And then this is my room. It looks really sad without like the cactus tapestry. My room is a tumbler dream. Just kidding, I wish it was. All my stuff in my bathroom is gone. I love the soap for my roommate though, because like literally everything in this room was like, I either bought or brought with me. I was like, well, it took my towels with me, but like she still has to wash her hands, so I'll leave the soap. Um, yeah, I told myself, whoops, I told myself I wouldn't get emotional because this is what I wanted. I need time to work on myself. And I have a lot I want to do, and I'm going to do it. Um, I feel like the only reason I cried is because when her mom was here, she started, like, getting really annoyed. And, like, you know, that I was like, wow, like, <sighs> like, if my mom and I start arguing, I don't have anywhere to go. I got to just stay with her. I think for this whole thing, I thought out everything except that. So, instead of being upset about it, I'm just gonna work as much as I can and get an apartment. Maybe within a month, maybe within two months, six months. All I know is that this is just temporary. This break from school is just temporary. Like, I'm gonna go back to school. It's just right now, it's just not the right time. I'm not in the right place mentally or physically. Like, I'll make a whole separate video. I think I said this before, I'll make a whole separate video about like what's been going on in my head. But that, with all the pressures of school, and the clubs I'm involved with, and being an RA, and working, and still trying to have a social life, and then everyone putting in their two cents about me having a social life, and going out and having fun, because apparently that's just so wrong, because, you know, school comes first, 
but all of that just combined with it, it just, I was just getting so sick physically and I don't want to live like that anymore. I don't want to live where it's like, I can't get out of bed till five o'clock. This is probably a much worse view. You can see all of this happening. I honestly don't know where I left off. Um, but this is really happening. But I'm not even like crying because I'm sad because I'm happy to leave. I honestly feel like I would have done this last year if I hadn't had the roommates that I had. Last year, even on days where I didn't want to get out of bed, my roommates would come and check on me. They'd be like, hey, like you're sleeping for so long. And like obviously like in nice ways, like they were like, oh my god, like why are you sleeping so long? Like, they were really nice about it. And then because of them, like I actually would like go out and like socialize and like I would see them studying, so I would study. And this year it's just I have nothing against Brewery this year. Like she's a very nice person, but she's never here. We're not friends. And I don't think I realized how much I needed someone here that was like at least gonna text me and be like, hey. Like, are you still asleep? Like, let's get lunch. And like my friends here, like all three of them, obviously like when they had time, like they would text me and say, hey, like, let's get lunch, let's get dinner. And I always come up with excuses and since they weren't in the room, they didn't see me just laying in my bed crying. I don't think I realized how bad like everything going on in my head was. And like, it's not anything major. Like, it's not like, like I, don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like, I had no will to just get out of bed. The only time that I would go out is when my friends would be like, hey, like we're going to the bar, like you should come. And like I didn't want to go, but I knew if I didn't go, they wouldn't stop texting me and it would be annoying. So I would just go just so they wouldn't keep texting me. And half the time I would go and I would sit there and just not talk to anyone. Or if I talked to someone, it wasn't someone I was friends with. It was just a random person in a bar and they're like, I don't even know. <laughs> And I'm kind of rambling right now. I'm just really stalling going home because I just want to be completely calmed down before I go home. Because unpacking is going to be even worse than packing. Ugh. But yeah. This is all happening on March 3rd, I believe today is. And I'm sure you guys won't see this till like mid-March, late March. I don't even know to be honest. But I do definitely want to do like a sit down video to just explain everything, explain why I dropped out, like what my plans are, and maybe help someone else that was in the same position I was because it sucks. Like when you're laying in bed and like watching everyone's Snapchats and they're all like hanging out with each other and like you know you can go, like nothing's stopping you. You can just get out of bed and just go hang out with your friends. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about this when I'm not crying because this is really unattractive and I'm so sorry. I already cried and cried. <laughs> I already cried in one video on my channel and I swear that was gonna be the last one and yet here I am. Oh my god, I cannot wait to go home and shower. <laughs> Alright, talk to you whenever. I don't even freaking know.